everyone. I'm going to do a video for people who want a basic list of tools they're going to need. Um, for those who are just getting into the industry of air conditioning. Now these are basic hand tools. Okay. Um, I have many, many tools. I, you ask any guy who's in the industry and they've spent probably over $10,000 of tools. I mean, vacuum pumps, recovery machines, uh, torches. There are a million tools, but what I like to sh show you is just kind of more of an introductory thing. So if you're going to get into the industry and you want to load up, a hand tool bag. These are kind of a, a must-have things when you when you go into the job. And as you get more and more experienced, you are going to want to add more. Okay, so getting started, um, first and foremost, you're going to want a multimeter. Um, you think, you know, in air conditioning, you are going to be doing a lot of refrigeration and checking Freon on stuff. But you know, a lot of it's electrical, okay? And a couple of uh, industry standard pieces are field piece and fluke. Uh, I've had this field piece for a long time. It has a, uh, an uh, amp clamp with a rotating head. Some of them don't. I like the rotating head so I can clamp on, see wherever. And be sure when you get your multimeter, it's able to read microfarads right there, the MFD. And that way you could test your capacitor, okay? You're gonna be testing amps and volts AC, okay? So this is not a tutorial how to use it. I will make one later, but you do need a good multimeter. These could run a couple hundred bucks and um, invest in a, a decent one, okay? All right, of course you're gonna need a service wrench, okay? Service wrenches are important for, you know, uh, working on your outside condensing unit. Um, there are a couple, there are the flat ones, and then here's the one with the knuckle saver. I normally just carry this one. I've had this guy for a long time. Um, also, this is an uh, extra add-on piece you might want to get, because as you can see, sometimes when you're in your uh, closing gallon, it, it's not deep enough, so this one gives an extra uh, length so you can get in there. So I just carry this one around. Uh, these are on my, this is my tool bag is on my truck. Um, and if you already have some Allen wrenches, get those because you will need them for a number of reasons. The service wrench does more than just your condenser. It could take off the nuts on a blower wheel and a, um, a condenser fan. So let's say you are working on a blower wheel and you want to get that nut off. Um, you're going to go to the, um, Sorry, this guy, and just, just put it on there. Sorry, trying to film it with one hand. And you could ratchet that thing off, okay? So this does a lot of good things. All right, so tubing cutters, they got these at Home Depot. Um, I like uh, rigid, you know, just get some good tubing cutters, not the cheap ones. Just spending, uh, I think these were between 10 and 20 bucks, I forget, um, in the extra wheels on here. These are solid, the cheap ones are going to fall apart on you. Get some good tubing cutters. Jumpers, you will need jumpers, okay? You got the gator clips and magnetic, okay? So here's a furnace control board. You will be testing uh, a lot of uh, uh, boards. You'll be testing a lot of uh, low voltage, you know? So the, the gator clips, you're gonna need uh, at least because the gator clip uh, jumpers go on everything, okay? So magnetic ones are great. You could stick these on thermostats, and but they don't stick on all boards though. This one it will. So you just kind of throw them in there. So good for commercial, right? These This is a list for residential tools, but the magnetic jumpers don't stick on every board. Okay, jumpers are a must, get jumpers. Okay, you're gonna need a hand drill, okay? No ands, ifs, or buts. You will have to get one. Um, I've had Rigid, I've had Milwaukee, uh, just get a good one. Um, the Walt's fine, whatever you like. And with that, you are gonna wanna get one of these guys. You can get these at the supply house. A quarter, it's, see here it says a quarter inch, five sixteenths. Those are the majority of the screws that are on air conditioning, okay? You flip it around, uh, put on here, they have different lengths. Um, 
get one of these guys and at least one of the long ones too. These are great invention, they're fairly new. You will want these because before we were carrying all these guys around, this one's a little bit of, uh, this is the uh, 3 8 they don't make 3 8 so I carry this around. But in Syrian carrying all the uh, other ones separately, this it, it's all in one, okay? All right, so we got, we're gonna come to our screwdrivers. Um, you can get these for free at the supply house. This is for uh, your thermostat screwdriver. Uh, I got this one at Johnstone. Um, you could take out this, flip it around, it becomes a Phillips. Home Depot sells this one too. I like, I carry this one a lot just because of the length and you have uh, other fittings in there, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna get to another uh, screwdriver that, that has an all-in-one. But you're gonna want one of these if you're too cheap to get uh, that. Just go to syrup your supply house. Say, hey, uh, do you have any one of these? All right, close uh, fitting or close close range tools. Okay, so um, here's a, a Schrader core removal tool. Um, for those people that install condensers really close to the wall, you're gonna you're gonna need one of these. Um, there are other uh, tools that have that fitting. I always carry this one, you know, just in case. Um, you're gonna need a, a, a one that can get into tight spaces no matter what, all right? All right, this one's called the Z-Tool. Okay, I used to carry around a couple uh, drivers, but this, uh, it has both fittings, the quarter inch, the 5 16 so This gets into those very close space quarters, okay? You stick it in there, very good. This is called a Z-Tool like the letter Z, all right? Another tool we got, I like this little guy, it's my mini mini crescent wrench, okay? Um, again, I used to use this a lot for uh, taking out the, uh, the nut on the blower wheel and the condenser fan motor. So, little crescent guy, I got this one at Johnstone. All right, uh, going to each yourself a nice box cutter. You know, you need, you need one of these. All right, temp gun. They do have these at Home Depot. They have cheap ones. I personally got the Fluke one. You're gonna want one of these because you will need to measure temperatures coming out of the register uh, in air conditioning and heating because, you know, your pressures might be right outside or they might be off outside, but you got good air on the inside. You have to get one of these. I, uh, the Fluke was just over a hundred bucks. Um, get a good one, I recommend it, because the cheaper ones you get, the, they don't last very long, they're not as durable. Sometimes they give you a fake reading, all right? This guy right here is your freeze popper. You see this in some of my other videos. You can get this at uh, the supply house. So back in the day, before I bought this, I would put fuse after fuse in there and, and just, I'd keep popping fuses. And before you know it, you go through a pack of these, and then you'd be out. This, if you still have a short, it will pop, and you keep working until it doesn't pop anymore. Saves you uh, a lot of fuses and headache and frustration. Get yourself a headlamp. He's got these, that Home Depot. I like this Energizer one. It's uh, cheap and it does the job well. It's, it's, it's really nice. And it, uh, when you get a full battery charge, it's uh, nice and bright in that attic. All right. Duck knife. Okay, so I'm not really doing uh, a video on duct insulation, uh, installation, but um, I you need this so in case you are doing a demo or taking out a unit, this makes a really good pookie scraper. So you're gonna want a duck knife in case you have to uh, cut things open. You want that. All right. Okay, so <clears throat> before I used to carry around what we call the ten in one. It had the uh, screwdriver, uh, different types of screwdrivers and whatnot. Uh, I've changed this one's a Klein. This is an eight and one. Okay, so this has uh, the uh, five sixteenths and the quarter inch fitting. So I could I could change it to either one right here and take them out, which is beautiful because I used to have uh, one long driver for it that did the same thing. But you flip this around, you got your um, Phillips and flathead, okay, your normal size, which is you're gonna need. And then you take this off and you got your Schrader valve removal tool and you got the uh, a flathead for your, uh, your thermostats. So wonderful tool.
This guy, this guy's for your drill, okay? It flexes, it bends, okay? So you put it on the end of this, in those tight corners, uh, you could uh, just take off those, those screws that you can't fit in and it'll do the job. Attach it in there, put it in there. They get these at Home Depot, all right? Of course, you're gonna need needle nose, okay? You're gonna need these uh, for doing all work. I, I crimp at these ends, but I always have needle nose. Wire strippers, of course, so when you're doing fan motors, you gotta strip the wire and you gotta crimp uh, the other edges on. You will need uh, a good set of wire strippers. Klein, I got Hillmore, but there you go. All right, I got small channel locks. Of course, I got uh, bigger ones and pipe wrenches, but the uh, channel locks uh, help me a lot. So if I have a stuck fan motor, I could uh, turn it and um, uh, break it free from all the rust and crap. I use these all the time. Of course, got dikes uh, or diagonal cutters. I use Klein. They do. Uh, they're more durable than some of the other brands, and they stay sharp for a while. But you know, you want to keep them clean. And of course, this is my Vito pack. I can fit virtually everything in here. Of course, the drill, and I am fine. So. Um, I've dialed in my bag to what I carry around. All I do is I carry this when I go up into an attic. And if I need more, I'm going to go down to my truck. But I keep this light because um, I don't like to carry a lot of heavy stuff. I do have the other tech bag where it holds everything. You can put your jewel and everything there. But, you know, when you've been doing this industry a long time and it's 120 degrees, 130 degrees in the attic, I try to keep it light, okay? So I'm gonna put everything in this bag. <laughs> so again, um, if you're new, uh, these are the things you're gonna wanna have. Um, it's not a whole lot of money, but again, as you stay in this industry a long time, you are gonna just accumulate tools, okay? So another thing, I got this guy right here. Um, it holds fuses, fittings, uh, small wire nuts, uh, other bits and stuff, uh, Schrader valves, in case you gotta do those, okay? And of course, you know, extra packets of fuse is gonna go in, into that bag. Now, one more tool um, that I know you all have is uh, your foam. So if you're a newbie, before you do something and you haven't seen it before, take a picture before and after, okay? That way you know how it goes, because some of you don't, um, may not know how to read a wiring diagram and put it back together. So very important, you have a phone and take it up there and just take pictures and ask questions. Okay, so um, these are my basic hand tools for um, someone new. And um, this is this is pretty much all I bring into to the house when I, when I go up into an attic. Um, now when you go outside, you're gonna need a set of gauges of course, you're going to need these. Um, I don't use it too much. I use digital gauges because it's going to tell me my superheat, subcooling, and all the other fun stuff. But uh, these are a lot less expensive than the digital gauges. Uh, like the field piece, you're going to spend three, four hundred dollars at least. You know, where these you can you can buy a set of gauges for you know about a hundred, hundred and hundred fifty dollar uh, range. Okay, everyone. I hope this helps. And uh, we will be doing more videos later on tools and more tutorials on uh, electrical and whatnot. All right, uh, like and subscribe if you haven't and ask any questions. And if you have any other requests, let me know. And I know a lot of you veterans out there will be telling me to put other tools in your bag. But again, this is for someone who's new and this really is all, all I use when I go troubleshoot. Your company's gonna have the other more expensive, bigger tools. Okay, thanks for watching.